Here we are going to take a look at the construction of an in circle for a given triangle ABC. And we'll be taking three cases where ABC could be an acute angle triangle or a right angle triangle or an obtuse angle triangle. And in all three cases, we'll take them to be scaling for generality. So what is an in circle? As the name suggests, in circle is a circle inside a triangle and it also touches the three sides in just one point. Now this touches a side in just one point in geometry is called as tangentiality. So to be precise, in circle is a circle that is tangential to all three sides of a triangle and then it will necessarily reside inside a triangle. So this is how an in circle looks. An in circle is unique and we can boil down this problem to finding its center. Since the circle is called an in circle, the center will be called as the in center. Now the distance of the in center from the three sides of the triangle, which are really the tangents to this circle, can be found by dropping such perpendiculars. But a perpendicular drawn from the center to the tangent is really the radius. And since all radii are of equal length, all the three sides are at the same distance from the in center. And that gives us a way of finding it. Because in center is a point which is equidistant from all three sides. Now whenever you hear that, that a point is at the same distance from two arms of a angle then we can think of an angle bisector because every point on an angle bisector is at the same distance from both the arms. So let us take a look at that. So here is an angle ABC given to us and we can construct its angle bisector. If you want to revise this construction then you can click on this link to watch that clip. But over here we'll be looking at only one of its properties. That is, if we take some arbitrary point on this bisector, say this point here, and use it as a circle, which is tangential to say this side here, then it will be necessarily tangential to the other one as well. And this is true for any point. For example, we could have taken this as a center and drawn a circle tangential to say this arm of the angle, then it will be tangential to the other one as well. So all points on the angle bisector are equidistant from both arms of that uh, angle. And this is the property that we are going to use in our construction. So let us try this out in case of this triangle. Of course I can use the geometric construction for angle bisection. But here I will be using this tool which quickly allows me to bisect angles. So here is angle bisector of A, here is angle bisector of C and they are meeting in this point which will be our in center but just to prove that this is a unique special point I have drawn the third angle bisector and you can see these three lines meet in a point which is something rare and special so this point of concurrency is our in center once we have the in center we can drop perpendicular from the in center onto any one of the sides like this and then we can use this as a center and this perpendicular as the radius to draw our in circle. For other two cases we just repeat the construction. First we draw the angle bisectors, they meet in a point that is our in center. From that we drop any one perpendicular to get the radius of the circle and then draw the in circle. 